Welcome to this presentation of Atlas V from Microsoft Dynamics AX. In this presentation I'm going to review the client configuration utility with Atlas V and look at how that has changed compared to Atlas IV. One of the major enhancements made with Atlas V over Atlas IV is multiple connections are now possible with, within the same configuration. So I can use this for example uh, perhaps I have a test QA environment of AX and a production environment and I like to connect to both at the same time. Perhaps report out of one and upload into another or just to do some testing in my test environment uh, before I deploy it to a live environment. Or equally with our uh, port to any SQL database perhaps you have another database and you'd like to bring data in from different uh, Microsoft SQL databases combine it with your AX data into into your office documents. Uh, so initially uh, our services allow for um, uh, AX4, AX2009 and AX2012 uh, to be combined the perfect sort of upgrade tool if you're thinking of moving from AX4 to, to AX2012 then you could have Atlas connected to both systems at the same time. So just to, to show you what that's like um, and as both systems are different then obviously the, the data source list uh, has to be separated as well. There are tables in AX 2012 that, don't, that, uh, that are not in AX 2009 or in AX 4 and vice versa. So, so there are new tables, different table structures and so the data source lists have to be kept separate. So in a report by report basis or cell by cell basis you can actually say which AX the data is coming from. So what I'm going to do is just simply build a, a list of uh, customers from my Contoso CEU company. And first up I'm just going to do a simple list. Uh, and I'm going to get my list from 2009 and I'd like the customer table to be the basis. And the only columns I really want at this stage is just a customer account and customer name. So this has come from AX 2009 and I shall add this to my properties. So what I'm going to do is uh, just give me an account balance from AX 2009 and an account balance from AX 2012. Um, so different two different copies of AX for the same customer. Uh, so I shall do precisely that. So in this particular cell here I'm going to build a balance formula and I'm going to get this from again AX2009 and my balance formula is going to come from customer transactions and I'm simply going to say for the account found in that cell there B13 and I'm going to sum up the amount MST column So here's a balance that has come from AX 2009 for a range of customers. Now quickly I can do now the same thing but from AX 2012 for the same customers. So when I go into my balance formula instead of it coming from AX 2009 I'm going to choose AX 2012 still my customer transactions table I'm still going to filter on the same field that contains my customer account and I'm still going to sum up my amount MST column. So when I look at the formulas here I can see now that this particular formula is coming from AX2009 this particular formula is the figure is coming from AX2012 and I can drill down into the appropriate system 
so this has come out of 2012 um, and I can quickly verify that by clicking on modify and if I look at my report columns you'll see some differences here in the data model uh, namely my uh, dimensions have come through um, the revised dimensions for 2012, the old dimensions and our Dell fields um, so the new dimension fields have come through as this is AX 2012. If I click back over here to AX 2009, drill down, and I'm coming back into the 2009 system. And again, if I modify this, uh, then you now see the familiar department cost center purpose dimensions, um, as has always been the case up until 2012. So Atlas supports multiple connections at the same time. So in my client configuration utility, when I uh, log out or log in, I can actually state what, what Atlas services I'd like to log into at, at the same time. So when I log out of this, so this is going to log me out of two systems, AX 2009 and AX 2012. As I've logged out, um, so I've set this up to be multiple connections and I can add a new one if I was going to add a third connection to this list so again when I log on to the to this particular configuration it would log me in, can log me into many Atlas services at the same time I can I can go for the option of keeping it the same as Atlas 4 and having a single connection as well uh, and obviously with different data model changes my shared paths and things like that will actually be s separate as well uh, uh, followed by SQL. So the services I'm connecting to are again uh, my Atlas services. So in my particular case, I've got three services running: one for AX 2009 on port 9006, and that's being managed by the licensing service on 9005. I've AX 2012, and I have our SQL database anywhere. Um, service installed as well uh, which you'll see in my services form and um, I've got three services again one for two different copies of AX and one for our database platform and the licensing service of course which is managing all three connections So finally what you can see here is under preferences um, when it comes to my configurations we have local ones that have, def have been defined on my machine and we've got shared ones which, are, which has actually come from a file location. So these shared ones are, are probably a good way when you want to um, lock down particular port numbers um, for services such as I want to connect to a production environment versus a test QA environment where you know that the database has been connected to, the copies of AX been connected to, um, they match the, the name. So you've got test AXs, you've got live AXs, and you want to make sure you don't get them mixed up. So um, through appropriate naming conventions, uh, they can certainly help. You can see here my saved queries are going to different folder locations. For AX2012, I'm going to a subfolder called 2012, and for AX2009, I'm going to another folder. So Atlas 4 only allowed you previously to have one connection um, and that's all there was. Atlas 5 is now multiple connections and when I log in then I'll be logging into both systems. So that's a quick review of what's different with the Atlas 5 client utility.